In this lesson, I'm just going to show you some common things, uh, tricks that I like to use. Um, first of all, it has to do with um, photo filters and black and white shots. There's a couple very useful tools I thought you should know about. So let's pick a picture. First of all, um, well, let's just grab this old lake. Well, it's not an old lake yet, but we're going to make it look like an old lake. Now, you might think, well, it's just simple to, you just add a, a, a filter to it. Um, or I'll just desaturate the color to turn it black and white. Or go to grayscale. But there's some uh, snags you may run into. For instance, oh, let me get those grid lines off of there. That's extras. All right. So first, let's take a look at our mode. Make sure we're in RGB. Let's go to 8. All right. Now, it's true. We can go to Image, Adjustments, and we could just simply go black and white, right? I'll show you what that box is in a second. Or we could just go to um, Mode, Grayscale, and it'll say you want to discard, you know, color information, blah, blah, blah. But there are some um, unique adjustments in here. All right, so if you go to Channel Mixer, this is what's very useful. You notice your presets are black and white infrared, black and white with a blue filter, black and white with a green filter. So it's going to accentuate the greens in this picture when it converts to black and white. So you can experiment with these, watch. That's infrared. Has a very unique effect compared to the rest here. That's the blue filter. Notice it's fairly dark. The green filter, which is my favorite, looks the most realistic in my mind. There's the orange filter accentuating different colors. Now you can see the inside of the boat. That may be the one you want to choose. Red filter. Now you can see the boat even more because remember that boat was red. And then yellow. So whichever one you think looks best. There's green. You might go for that orange though because the boat, if, depending on what you want to stand out. So then down here, you can lighten up the picture, make it look more washed out or old with the constant setting here or make it look a little darker. So this is my favorite tool when I'm going into black and white and want a, a, a lot of different options with my black and white. So remember that, Channel Mixer, and that's under Image Adjustments, Channel Mixer. Now, the second thing I wanted to show you is if you wanted a sepia or some sort of a um, filter on a photograph. Well, you'd think, well, maybe I'll just, I'll just go to Image, Adjustments, and I'll go to Photo Filter, right? And you can have a warming filter. That's true. And here's your density. See? Notice how the pictures change. Oh, sorry. You can't see this. <laughs> Apologize. All right. So you have a warming filter on here, for instance. And there's your density. And very warm. Most of the time you're going to keep this checked, preserve luminosity, because it darkens the picture if you don't too much most of the time. All right, so you can experiment with these. You have two different warming filters. Provide a slightly different look to the, to the photo. A cooling filter makes this look very winter, does it not? <laughs> 80. There's this one. that one. And then you have your red, your orange filters. You can cyan, green. That one looks interesting. Now there you go down to sepia, right? That maybe that's what you want. Well, even if you up the percentage all the way up, it's not giving you that really old photograph look that you want. Well, 
I know why. <laughs> this took me a little bit to figure out. You have to convert your color to grayscale or black and white before you can apply a sepia filter that's going to look truly like those, those ones you're used to seeing. So if we go to image adjustments and we're going to desaturate it just with one click. Bam, it's desaturated. Now we can go to image adjustments photo filter and now notice if we have the warming filter on there look at that now we can go through these notice the difference now you can have your red see obviously that's too much red go down to let's say violet put a little bit of a violet filter on it that looks interesting and now sepia move it all the way up to really get that old sepia look and there we go and there's a few other ones you can experiment with too but I don't know how useful they'll be in all um, situations but so that's one way to do it now these are preset filters but you can also choose your own filter so let's say you wanted a different color, like a more orange. I think I picked one time, because you can manually put your colors in here. I think I picked 170, 60, and 5, something like that. See how that looks. Now we've created our own filter. See, but that's still not the color I want. I want a more orange. You have to release before you see the actual change in the photo. See, that's pretty good. Move down a little bit more, it's a little more orange. Might be too red for me. That looks pretty good. So, there we go there. Now, now if you want an even more sepia look. Now we can go back under image and go to brightness and no, saturation. Hue and saturation. Now if we up the saturation picture even it turns more sepia. So sorry, you can't see that box again. So I just up the saturation a little bit. So that, that to me looks still good even though we have not, I canceled and didn't do the, the uh, saturation. Alright, so there's a little bit on um, filters and sepia.